Yo, what's up, folks? It's your boy Sports PSP in the building. Hope everyone's enjoying the rest of their day. I want to talk about some NFL news regarding the Dallas Cowboys. According to Sports Illustrated Mike Fisher, the Dallas Cowboys were intrigued with Ohio State quarterback C.J. Stroud. Now, C.J. Stroud is one of the top prospects heading into the 2023 NFL Draft. He's projected to be a top three, top five draft pick, or he could be the number one overall pick. You never know. But what is my take that the Cowboys, according to Mike Fisher's report, that they were intrigued with C.J. Stroud. It tells me that the Dallas Cowboys are just about done with Dak Prescott. And whether they'll admit it or not, they made a mistake in giving Dak Prescott the back. Now, Dak Prescott is currently on a four-year, $160 million contract with the Dallas Cowboys, and he won't become a free agent until the year of 2025. Dak Prescott is coming off a bad, awful playoff performance against the San Francisco 49ers, 19-12. The reason why that the San Francisco 49ers won that game was because of Dak Prescott's performance. Dak was terrible in that game. He only threw one touchdown and two interceptions. He, Dak, throughout the 2022-2023 season, struggled to take care of the football. He was tied for the most interceptions this season with Davis Mills with 15. Dak has was a roller coaster in 2022. He's proven to be a solid quarterback, a good quarterback in the NFL. I think he's at best average. Um, his record as a starter is 61-36. and 36. But no one looks at Dak like he's the best quarterback or a top three, top five quarterback in the NFL. So I can understand why the Dallas Cowboys want to move on from Dak Prescott because they feel like over seven years, he's shown that he's not good enough to get them to the promised land and win. And for the past couple of seasons, he has been unable to stay healthy. Since that injury he suffered in 2020 that put him out for the rest of that season, Dak has been unavailable. Dak hasn't been available to play all 16 or 17 games since that injury. 2021, he only played 16 games. 2022, he didn't play as much. There were times Cooper Rush stepped in. For the Dallas Cowboys. And Cooper Rush played well enough in order for the Dallas Cowboys to compete until they went on the road and got embarrassed by the Philadelphia Eagles. But I think for Dallas, they want to move on from Dak Prescott because they feel like Dak Prescott just can't get the job done. But you gave him that four year deal. He won't be a free agent until 2025. I do not believe. Any team would want to take Dak Prescott with that contract and to give up their top draft pick in the hands to Dallas so that Dallas can draft C.J. Stroud. I don't see that. I don't see that at all. It would work for Dallas because financially they would be just fine. They would use that money for other things, surround some more offensive talent. They may have to consider getting some offensive line help. Zach Martin, Ty Smith are getting up there in age. Um, you're going to have to try to get Ezekiel Elliott to take a huge pay cut. You need to build around C.D. Lamb. But at the same time, I just don't see that happening. So the likelihood of the Dallas Cowboys getting their hands on C.J. Stroud are slim to none. You're stuck with Dak Prescott for the next two, two seasons. That's all I'm going to say. Honestly, I really don't care. Um, for Dallas Cowboy fans, I don't feel sorry for them at all. I'm actually happy because I can't stand Dallas Cowboy fans. They're just nauseating. I just want to add that out there. But anyway, please leave your comments in the comment section below, guys. Do you think that the Dallas Cowboys are done with Dak Prescott? Have they had enough of Dak Prescott in regarding his performance? Is Dak Prescott overrated? Do you think that C.J. Stroud is worthy of of being a member of the Dallas Cowboys and should the Dallas Cowboys trade up in the draft to take them? What's your thoughts? Other than that, it's your boy Sports PSP. Hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. And as usual, God bless.